everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona, and you're watching another great episode of Garage Talk, but this time we're on location in Sedona, Arizona at the 2024 Mountain Biking Festival. And I'm here with Kurt from 1UP Bike Racks, and you guys know I've been using them since 2018, okay? So they don't have to convince me how good their product is. You guys know what I do, where I drive and travel. I have put mine through hell and back. But today, Kurt is going to tell us about the racks better than I ever could and some new products. We got a bunch of different stuff we're going to go over so you guys can see the full lineup that 1UP has to offer you and I'm sure you'll figure out some way to use them. So I almost wanted to go out and buy like a Porsche so I can put the rack up on top yeah, of the one. We'll get to that one. So <laughs> that's badass. So all right. So enough jibber jabber guys. Let's get started. Kurt. Tell How's us all about everything. Yeah, so standing right here in front of our one of our newer models, the Equipped. Um, it's called that because it's equipped with all of the extra stuff you can put on our standard models pretty much out of the box. So you can see it's fat bike compatible. So it's got the wider spacer kit, can go up to a four and a half inch tire, which is cool. Uh, we can also get a spacer kit that'll go all the way to five if you need it. Okay. Um, some other notable things here. Um, we've moved the black bar underneath, so there's now a handle here. So you can simply pull the handle oh, and nice. lower it. Yeah, okay. so it's a little bit easier, which that is super nice. That is a little nice. easier. Um, other things to note, the levers here, if you're familiar with our other racks, the, the red levers, um, we've just changed that to be a little cleaner button design underneath. Okay. Um, a little bit more elegant, a little easier to push too, so, okay. which is super nice. Um, yeah, and then it's a little bit narrower, and then the weight capacity is about 50 pounds of tray, depending on which position you're in. So it is okay. a little bit lighter capacity compared to some of our other ones. Right. Um, really good for gravel, road, smaller sedans, too. Comes in an inch and a quarter and a two inch. Okay, so there you have it. In case you're driving like a Subaru or something along those lines, you can put this rack on there. It's going to suit your needs as far as that goes. Yep. So, awesome. And then what do we have right here? I noticed this the other day. I'm going to yeah. let you sure. jump in over there. So we've been making these for a while. Uh, it is a, It's our cargo tray. It's an entire rack all the way from the hitch bar back. Um, we make it in a 60 and a 48 inch. This is the 48 inch. Um, depending on your hitch capacity, it can do up to 380 pounds. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And the Very rig, nice. It still has the same uh, tilt mechanism and everything, so you can okay. fold it up out of the way, fold it up. Um, the other cool thing is that you can put two of our add-ons on, so you can carry your cooler and some other cargo and then two and then bikes two bikes. the back. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So super I nice. love that modular design. Yeah. We're um, all about modularity, like making it work. Yeah, absolutely. And in case you guys were wondering, for people new to the channel, I have three trays on mine. Now, it's not to carry three bikes. It's for when I have my friends say, oh, yeah, sure, Thomas, we'll go riding with you. They never do. You guys know this. But just in case, I got room for them. Yes, yeah, nice. <laughs> I got yeah. room for them. All right, well, cool. Well, let's check out this vertical bike rack. So, guys, we're going to magic a Hollywood. We're going to transition on over. And now we're going to talk about this other cool rack you have over yeah, here. Yeah, do it. All right, Kurt, this is called the Recon Rack. I can see that this is obviously a vertical mounting design. Who is this intended for? Really intended for people who need to carry five or six bikes. Okay. Our other racks can handle four, the tray style can handle four bikes, which is nice, but it gets really long beyond four. Right. Uh, so if you want to carry five or six, this is pretty much the only way to keep it compact on the vehicle. Okay. So we make this in a five and six basket design. Okay. Um, and then it comes with standard baskets, which can do plus tires, 29ers, 26, and all that. But you can also get a fat version, which can do up to five, and then a kid's version, which is on the side there. Okay. So if you got a 24-inch bike, uh, that's a little bit shorter. Comes with a smaller tray, and then you can see down there an extension on the bottom. Oh, for yeah. the smaller so children's bikes. Yeah, okay. since the wheel's going to become uh, a little bit higher up. Okay. And then the way that it stays in is just a simple strap design down here. So that strap uh, is pulling okay. the bike down into the tray and also into the rack. Nice. So if I come around here, yeah. you can't pull it that way, and then you can't lift it up. So it's a really simple design. We also opted not to do anything that's integrated into the rack for the strap. It's something you can buy at a hardware store. So if a strap breaks, if where you lose one, you can pretty much pick it Super up anywhere Super easy replacement. Yep. Nice. No matter where you're at in the world. Yeah. I love that. Love that. And it does tilt. Uh, it's got a height adjustable um, beam here, so you can raise and lower that depending on your vehicle's hitch height and how okay. much clearance you need. Um, 
Yeah, this is a steel rack, okay. uh, just for durability and everything versus our aluminum ones. Right. Um, what's yeah. the weight of the rack and what's the load capacity of the rack? Sure, 45 pounds per basket. Okay. Uh, and then the actual weight of the rack is just under 100 pounds. I think okay. the, the so five is- that's actually is, still not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a one person job uh, <laughs> if you got a good back. Right. <laughs> But yeah, it, uh, I think it's 94 and 97 for the okay. five and the six. Now, for those that are riding pedal assist bikes, this wouldn't necessarily be the rack for them if it's a 40 pound, pound, 45 pound capacity per tray. Correct. They would need something else. Yeah. Do you guys have a design or something maybe in the works for uh, pedal assist riders um, that, so they can carry bikes like this? So it, that really comes down to the vehicle. Okay. You know, when you line up, if you want to line up five or six 45 pound bikes plus right. a 100 pound rack, like you you need a vehicle that can handle yeah. that amount of weight. Um, so we're just keeping it at 45. You can take the, the battery out, obviously, which usually shaves, saves eight to 15 pounds, pounds depending, depending on, on the bike. bike. Yep. So you might be able to get it within that 45 pound range. Okay, okay, yeah. well good to know. So guys, remember, if you need to carry multiple bikes, say you got a big family, husband, wife, you know, three kids, or maybe you guys actually have a group of people that show up and ride together, this would be the rack for you, but for people who are using multiple pedal assist bike, maybe an XL, Yep. Because the XL Heavy Duty can has that load capacity and everything, might be the better choice. So, but this is a great design. I really love it, and I love the fact that this is a non-proprietary uh, strap mechanism down here. So again, if a strap fails, you can go ahead and anywhere in the world replace that strap. So, exactly. Yep. So, and then this is currently on our rack stand uh, because this is so heavy, getting it in and out of the garage. Right. Also, putting it somewhere, it's kind of awkward. So this is just a, a it's compatible with any two-inch hitch but it's okay. got a wheel on the back so you can actually just dolly, oh, you can the dolly rack out it out your there car. yeah i love and it you can even keep a couple bikes on it in the garage as storage too so it kind of serves double duty yeah i actually like that that's yeah. actually really really good and for someone like me where garage space is a premium um, something like this actually makes a lot of sense to store those multiple bikes so yeah. all right well cool well let's see the other setups that you have guys magic of movies we're going to transition on over let's do it all right my friends so this is the hd the heavy Heavy duty rack, tray rack, very similar to what I have, but I have the super duty and the aluminum, just the raw aluminum, not the black. And this one, again, we can go four out, but this actually supports quite a little bit of weight, if I remember yeah. correctly. This is, what, 50 pounds of tray? 50 pounds of tray, yep. okay. depending on the position of the bike. It gets a little lower as you go out, just right. from leverage and everything, yep. but yeah. And if you're familiar with our racks, this is probably the one that you either have or have seen. Uh, it's kind of the, the flagship rack. The design is really simple. Like you said, it's all aluminum. Uh, it's not gonna corrode or anything. It's also all 100% made in the USA. Right. Made in a small town in Wisconsin, Southwest uh, corner. Yep. And the biggest thing is we make it super durable and super easy to use. Yeah. Um, one, it comes pretty much assembled, so the trays are gonna be folded back like that in yep. the box. You open it, take the cardboard out, put it in the hitch, flip that down, and you're ready to roll. Yep. No tools required, uh, with the exception of the security bolt that actually tightens this into the hitch with a little ball mechanism, which is makes a super secure um, rack that doesn't wobble around. And then in terms of how it works, it's just simple lever. You lift the lever to open the arm, set the bike in, close that down, and then that's locked in on the tire, and that's truly it. Yeah. And it doesn't touch your frame at all, so you're not, you don't have to worry about scratching or damaging a frame. Right. Yeah. And it, like you said, it comes in silver or black. Uh, it's powder-coated trays, anodized finish everywhere else. Um, yeah, and then it also pivots down uh, with bikes on for vehicle yep. access or up for storage. And it comes in a double or a single like this. And then you can do the add-on. Exactly, you can add two. So a single can go up to three, a double can go up to four. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, and again, I have the, the Super Duty because you guys know at one point I had a couple of pedal assist bikes and so I wanted that additional weight, um, but essentially the same rack. 2018, this rack does not come off my truck, guys. This is one of the reasons why my truck doesn't get washed too <laughs> because it can't go through the little washing machine at the dealership. But again, for those of you who have been with the channel since the beginning, you guys know the chop I get into. I, I don't... I drive it like I stole it with bikes on the back with this exact rack and I've never had an issue with losing my bike. I've never had an issue with the rack coming out of the hitch. Now, please, 
things get loose, they rattle, check that safety. I usually check it once every four to six weeks, depending on how much off-roading I've been doing. Mm -hmm. It's just prudent. Check your other bolts and everything like that, my friends. It's just that preventative maintenance that's going to add to the longevity of the rack itself and, and safety as far as not losing a bike or something like that. So just be mindful, okay? We like to sit there and say, oh, it's bulletproof. I never have to worry about it again. That's incorrect for any product, but I can tell you, you know, we're in 2024, so call it, you know, six years coming up on six years. Guys, thousands of miles of driving, tens of thousands of miles of driving, and not one issue on this rack that just for the preventative maintenance, a little lube yeah. here, a little lube there with the Teflon and everything like that, and, and it's been great. And I haven't had a part break, but if it does, it's modular. And All you got to do is email you guys and you guys send part, a new part. Every part is yeah. replaceable. Yeah. You With know? Standard hand tools. You don't anything anything special yeah. like that. And yeah. they send you the tools, the Allen keys and everything. Not that I don't have them. I got tools in my garage, but everything that you need to, to do the maintenance on these, they send to you right in the, in the box. And yeah. again, I, I'm super appreciative. It's one of the things that I was drawn to. It's made in America. It's not designed in America and built someplace yeah. else. It's 100%. made in America. Yeah. So, you know, call me provincial, old fashioned, but I totally dig that about the company. So I can't say enough good things. My now, tip for this, right? when you get gas, check it. Yeah, Because you, you, go. you got, what, two minutes while it's pumping just yeah. to, to do nothing? Just pull the key out, double check, done. And I like the fact that you guys sent two keys. Yep. And so I have one in my glove box exactly. and I have one in the garage. Yep. So that way if the dealership has to take it off for any reason. Exactly, yep. You know, just like the you know the key for your rims. Right. You know, have, yep. have two handy. So, and now behind us, we have the Super Duty rack. Yeah. Now this one has an increased weight capacity yeah. of... 75 pounds. 75 pounds. Yeah. Um, so for those people who do have pedal assist bikes, again, they're not lightweight. Right. You know, they're all tipping the scale at, oh, 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 my friend, we're recording. No, no worries, my friend. You're good. <laughs> You're good. Um, they have uh, for the pedal assist. Those bikes are all 55 pounds plus easy, you yeah. know. So if you're going to be doing pedal assist bikes, um, this is the rack to get. And this is why I purchased this rack, yeah. you know, for that additional weight capacity. Yeah. And on the surface, it looks identical. It yep. functions the exact same way. We just have an extra support bar underneath that ups the capacity to 75. Yeah. And we do make a ramp, too, because those bikes aren't easy to huck up on the rack. So right. we make a ramp that clips on so you can actually just ri not ride. Well, maybe you could, but wheel your bike up. Yeah. And then it's you don't have to lift that heavier bike. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I, I, you know, I think it's great all the accessories that you guys have yes. for these. And so I just want to touch on those before we talk about the basket. Sure. I have the license plate frame with the integrated uh, tail light, mm -hmm. uh, brake light blinker, and everything yep. like that. And again, that was from day one. I ordered everything, yeah. you know. And the only thing that's gone wrong with that is like a Momo. I did the handle <laughs> and I let it come down and it bent yeah. the, the, the license plate. But that was on me. Yeah. <laughs> it had nothing to do with the rack. But Again, those accessories, just like the rack itself, built top notch, yeah. tough as a coffin nail, so I've well, had no issues. So. It's all about modularity, too. Yeah. Like, if you don't need the light, if you don't need the license plate bracket, if you yep. don't need the extra handle or, you know, name the accessory, you don't have to get it. Nope. You can buy just the base model, and then you can literally, your rack from almost 15 years ago, our accessories still work. Yeah. So it's not going out of date. We're not doing a revamp every two years where right. the old stuff becomes obsolete. Right. So yeah, it's gonna, it's going to last forever and we're gonna support it as well. Yeah, exactly. Think of that as the Leica M mount, my friends. It's been around yeah. since there the friggin' go. 50s and any Leica camera you could pick up and use any M lens and it's just gonna I'll, work. I'll take that comparison. That's a, that's a yeah. good brand to be associated with. Yeah, and coming from me, you guys know yeah. I shoot like a rangefinder, so I know what I'm talking about <laughs> there, so on that. All right, well, let's go ahead and again, Magic of Movies, we're gonna transition, come around, and we can talk about the rack. Now, I said rack, but it's really a basket, mm -hmm. and no, we're not gonna put the lotion in the basket, um, but we are going to tell you what you can put in this basket. I guess lotion, if you wanted to. Sure. Um, and we're gonna talk about capacities and everything and how this basket works. Yeah, so this basket, basket um, is kind of an answer to people who don't need the full cargo setup. So if your priority is bike and want to haul a little extra gear, right. it's called the cargo add-on. Uh, you'll see like we don't really get clever with names. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Yep. Uh, but it uses the same add-on system. So two bolts, key slot, put it on, slide it over, tighten it down, and it's set to go. And it's just meant to carry, you know, we've got the little Yeti cargo box on here, small cooler, firewood, uh, yeah. dry bag with your gear after a wet ride or whatever it is that you don't want in the vehicle. Um, 
It's ha it can handle up to 125 pounds depending on the position, and it needs to be either the first or second add-on, just like anything else. Right. Um, so you're not going to put it on the back of a four-up rack and have right. a, a giant diving board out the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Physics, guys, it's the law, not That's, a suggestion. Yep. <laughs> okay. And so. again, all aluminum. It comes in black and silver, so it can match your black yep. or silver rack. Um, and it runs. I gotta look so I don't get that wrong. Uh, 245 for silver and 275 for black. So it's pretty affordable option too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, guys. And and there's some of you like, and maybe that was something I might look into the future. But I have a feeling that more and more people hopefully will start riding with me, my friends. I would like you to come out there and get. Um, but if you know and have this in your garage and you're doing a solo ride or maybe even two bikes in this, this is perfect because it just takes you know 10, 15 minutes to friggin' swap something uh -huh. out. 30 seconds. Yeah. I mean, I, I can mean, take take this off, pull it off, and put it in the garage in less than a minute. Right, and you're yeah. ready to go. Yep. But for someone like me, kind of lollygags sometimes, you know, we'll say yeah. 10 minutes. If there's a know. beverage involved or something, you the know. The dog's friggin' running yeah, around yes. something. Yeah, you know. But again, so maybe you don't use this all the time, but this is a good accessory to have for those times that you do need. Yes. You know, when we've talked about that before, where, you know, better to have and maybe use it a couple times a year, then go, crap, you know, exactly. I wish I had this, so. Yep. All right, Magic of Movies, we're gonna clip and we're gonna go to another industrial strength rack over here off to the side that's holding a pretty rad little uh, off-road. It's like the mobility scooter on steroids, <laughs> my friends. All right, transition, let's go. All right, my friends. Just like Kurt just said, off camera, what's better than heavy duty or super duty? Extreme duty. Um, and this rack definitely fits that bill. <laughs> this is a beast, but you can see what it's supporting. So Kurt, tell us about the rack. Sure. So we made this rack basically as an answer to people wanting to put Surons or other kind of electric moped style bikes. Right. These are becoming way more popular and the weights are obviously way higher than a standard e-bike. Yes. So this particular one with the battery weighs 150 pounds, which is the capacity of this tray. We do recommend taking the battery out. Less weight is always better. Right. Um, but the biggest thing with this is we changed the hitch design so that it doesn't, it can't pivot with a bike on because you don't want to have to try to lift this back up yes. and forget how heavy it is. So this actually bolts down. It's a solid, secure mount. So there's absolutely no play on the hitch at all. Like I'm actually trying. Right. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't move. And then the tray is different. You have double arms instead of single, so adding more rigidity here. And then we have an upgraded design here too. So instead of just that single rail, the teeth are moved. It's a wider profile, which adds a little bit more grip to it as well. Right. A little more bite. Um, and we have the addition of the wheel chock, which supports that front wheel so there's less steer tube yep. rotation, um, which is super important as this thing gets moving down the road. If you're going 80 down the highway and you hit a bump, you don't want this to spin. And with the softer suspension of these types of bikes too, the bike is going to want to move just like more like a motorcycle than a standard bike. Right. Um, so that's also supporting that and, and making sure that it can handle the weight. Now, just like the other racks, do you make a ramp for this one? Because obviously this is a beast. Not everybody's going to be able to huck a 150-pound bike we do. on top of the rack. And one of the cool features on this one is that this arm actually just folds out of the way. Okay. So you can place the rack on or the ramp on, drive it up, and then this just comes back up. You don't have to worry about, you know, removing a pin awesome. or anything. Lock it in, you're good to go. Good deal. So again, super versatile, super easy to use. And yeah, guys, just the construction on this thing screams friggin' bulletproof and uh, and extreme, just yeah. oversized. Yeah. I, but you guys know me, I like to over, over engineer everything, okay? And I think in a former life, I actually built prisons. <laughs> so <laughs> nothing famous, nothing glamorous. I was the guy who built prisons to keep people locked up. So um, man, just this is awesome. So now, finally, last but not least, we have some racks on the top of this really freaking cool Porsche that's been lifted to go off-road, Enduro style. So we're going to cut, we're going to transition over, and we're going to talk a little bit about the racks um, that you can now. And I'll ask those questions because I'm curious as far as, you know, mounting system and how they work and everything. So let's, uh, let's get over to those roof racks. All right, my friends, last but not least, we are going to talk about the roof rack. And my question is, do you guys make the actual rack or is it a rack to mount onto your existing roof rack? That's a good question. So this is, we just make the tray. So we the don't tray. make any crossbars or anything. Okay. Um, 
and but we make it so that it can pretty much mount to anything on the market. Okay. Uh, when you order it, you will you will either order a specific height for the crossbar that you're putting it on. Okay. We also make flush mount, which is what this is. So okay. it actually sits on top of the bar, which is really nice. There's nothing hanging underneath. It's hard to see on this one with the side panel here, right. but um, it's it also works with like Thule and Yakima crossbars okay. um, with that T-nut. So you slot it in, it keeps it super low profile, and then there's also nothing hanging underneath. So if you're washing the roof, you're not gonna hang your the back of your hand on a, a bolt or anything like that. Right. And it does have a security nut, so like someone can't come up and just use a regular wrench and steal it. So okay. just like the security nut on our, or a security bolt, sorry, on right. our other racks, it uses that same style. Uh, and it comes with that key and everything so you can install it. Okay. Uh, available in black and silver. Functionality is identical, you know, lift the lever. Open it up, put the bike in, close it down, ratchet it, and it's good to go. Nice. Now, what's the load capacity for these trays, or is that going to vary on the depending on the rack that you have? Yes. So it can pretty much handle 55, 60, 70 pounds, but it's really like you're not going to want to put that on your roof. Right. So some people use these on trailers. That's the other thing. It's super versatile. There's just a T-slot on the bottom, so you okay. can run a carriage bolt in it. We actually have an owl van set up on the front of our, our trailer. People run them on okay. the back of vans. I have nice. a couple on my trailer that I have just bolted down. Um, so in those scenarios, you can definitely put more weight on it. Right. But yeah, you definitely want to reference how much your static and dynamic weight rating is for the roof of your car. Nice, nice, awesome. Okay, so uh, guys, just be careful. Be Use a little common sense, prudence. Yes. Um, usually when a manufacturer for the basket itself and your manufacturer for your vehicle, they're going to tell you what the weight capacity is yes. for it. Pay attention to that for safety's sakes, okay? You don't want to hurt yourself or anybody else as yeah. far as that goes. All right, well, before we close out, Kurt, is there anything else that you want to add, anything that we might have forgotten? We do make a full line of storage accessories, too. Okay. Uh, so if you want to put your rack up on the wall, just like a two-inch receiver, which okay. is really nice, keep it off the, the, off the floor. And uh, we also make a thing called the RS slide. So our whole storage uh, selection is called Rack Stash. Okay. So that rack stand is part of that. And then the RS slide is a five-foot rail that you can hang bikes on and slide them across, nice. um, which is really nice for bike storage. And then we make a variety of hooks, shelves, other things to store helmets, shoes, other bike accessories. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So a full line of apparel and accessories. As far as I Not apparel. Not apparel. We do make I some cool t shirts. Because but, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so cool. Well, awesome. So, all right, guys, again, I've been using this product for six years now. And when I bought it, it wasn't like I was sponsored or I got any deal or anything like that. I bought it because I believed in the product for a couple of reasons. One, because they are truly made in America, engineered in America, and I love supporting that type of company. Two, just the reviews, people who actually use them, taking photos of their on the bikes and their adventures and everything like that. And it's good to see that type of honesty and community, okay, getting behind such a product. And after tens of thousands of miles of use on the back of my truck, again, I can't speak more highly enough for one up and their racks whether you're going to use maybe a lighter version one because that's what you do or the super hd like i have because you know again i drive everything like i stole it <laughs> um they have something for you so on that note what do we always say okay like subscribe bell notification icon why it helps out the video helps out the channel it's the trifecta we love so much down here or i should say get out arizona there's going to be links down below also check out the one up link okay it's going to yep. take you directly to their website it's not an affiliate link. I get nothing for it, but I do want you to check out their line of racks and accessories for the racks. If you're thinking about purchasing one, upgrading from the one you have, guys, you've got to give them a look. Our social media links are down below. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, the devil's work, but it's necessary to get the word out about Get Out Arizona. Group rides, group hikes, all kinds of fun stuff that we do, all right? And at that point, what do we always say? Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards on that trail because we lead by example, my friends, and we have to ask what are you waiting for get out arizona my friends we'll see you on that next adventure kurt thank you so much for joining us today i really appreciate it guys we'll talk to you soon